This is Cubase IC Pro, a remote control app that transforms your iPad or iPhone into a personal recording assistant. Cubase IC Pro is great for the solo artist who needs to control Cubase from across the room, and it's just as great for a group, allowing each musician to adjust their own headphone mix using their iPad or iPhone. The first thing you'll need to do is download Cubase IC Pro from the App Store. Next, install the Steinberg SKI Remote Extension on your computer. This is a free download available from the Steinberg website. Once installed, the SKI extension appears as one of the remote control devices in Cubase. Finally, let's look at how to connect your iPad or iPhone to your computer. We're going to create an ad hoc network using Wi-Fi. This creates a direct link between your iDevice and your computer, and it's easy to set up. Let's look at the Mac first. Make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. Click Create Network from the drop-down menu. Name the new network and set up whatever security you want. Then click to Create the Ad Hoc Network. You'll notice that the Wi-Fi icon changes. Now, all you have to do is join the new network from your iPhone or iPad. Open Settings, then Wi-Fi, and select the Ad Hoc Network we just created. That's it. Move the controls on IC Pro, and Cubase responds. It's just as easy to do this on Windows 7. Open the Start menu, click the Control Panel, and select Network and Internet. Open the Network and Sharing Center, and click Set up a new connection or network. Select the option to set up a wireless ad hoc computer-to-computer -computer network. Click Next, and click Next again. Name the network, and enter the security settings. From here, you simply join this network from your device. Settings, Wi-Fi, and select the network. That's it. Cubase IC Pro is ready to roll. This is the default view of the project page. IC Pro shows you the project overview from Cubase. And Cubase IC Pro stays in sync with your Cubase project. If you add or remove tracks or markers in Cubase, IC Pro will automatically update to reflect the changes. You navigate through the project by scrolling. You can set the left and right locators, then jump between them. And you can set markers, and then use them to navigate. Other options let you tap to establish the tempo. You can change the time base of the ruler. And you can turn the metronome on and off. Zoom in and out by spreading and pinching. And of course, you can use all of the standard transport controls. But there's a lot more here. Tap the Settings button to switch between the Project page, the Mix Console page, and the Key Commands page. You can even select several split-screen modes to see various combinations. On the Mix Console page, you can control the most important Cubase parameters. And you can even select the fader width. Cubase IC Pro lets you give each musician control of their own headphone mix. Start by setting up the cue mixes using the control room function in Cubase. Activate the control room. Set up at least one cue channel in the VST Connections window. Then determine which tracks should go to the cue mix. Now, any musician carrying a supported phone or tablet can adjust their headphone mix independently using the Mix Console page in Cubase IC Pro. Another great feature of Cubase IC Pro is the ability to create and manage key commands and macros. This makes Cubase IC Pro into a fantastic control surface even when you're seated at your computer. For one thing, you can stop putting stickers on your keyboard to remember the shortcuts, 
because the shortcut keys in IC Pro display their names. Select an empty slot and assign the shortcut you want. And now you have that function, clearly labeled, at your fingertips. You can even store key command pages as presets for easy recall. You can rename buttons, recolor them, reassign them, and even delete buttons. And since Cubase IC Pro works on a variety of devices, if you buy the iPad version, you can download the iPhone version for free. Visit the App Store today and take control of Cubase to a whole new level.